Good evening. I'm Pastor Phil, Wilmington Christian Center Church. And I'm just excited that you're on with us today. Glory be to God. You know, from 1230 to one o'clock each and every Tuesday, we're going to stand in agreement against this evil spirit, this evil attack upon the body of Christ and our country and this world. I was sharing Sunday that we have the authority to do this and we have the power to do this. In, in Psalms, it's 89.34, it says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. That's a powerful scripture. I'll read it again. Psalms 89.34, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. So any good thing that God has promised in his word is his covenant with you. It's a guarantee. No matter what people says, it is the norm or what most people experience. It really doesn't matter what man says. It's what God says that counts. That's the covenant side, siding with God's word over man's word. God's covenant was put into place long ago because God promised to make Abraham a great nation with, with many descendants and a whole lot of prosperity all around. And the best part of the deal is that we're added to it. We have an official agreement through Christ, Jesus, making us rightful heirs to all of the same promises. We've been teaching on this covenant on Thursday nights, and you really need to get a hold of it at our Bible study. See, there's one thing. To receive the benefit, you have to first choose to live on the covenant side of life. You can't have one foot in and one foot out to live the kind of life that, that you want to prosper. Either live the covenant life or you're going to live another life. The whole world, and I'm telling you, majority of Christians, they align themselves with the facts instead of the covenant. Listen to me. They align themselves with the facts instead of the covenant. But what about you? Which side will you choose? Find out how you can always be on the winning side between the covenant and the facts. You, you, you know, you're feeling symptoms of that cold or the, the virus everyone's been talking about. You've been sneezing and coughing. Your throat is a little dry. Or maybe you received a bad report from the doctor about your health. Now you have a decision to make. Are you going to side with the covenant or are you going to side with the facts? See, the covenant says you're healed of every sickness and every disease, which means you have the right to live in the divine health all the days of your life. But on the other hand, you got the facts, which is everything you can see, everything you can feel, everything you can hear, everything you can taste on the outside. You got the facts, your symptoms, what the news says, or what people around you speak and believe, commercials that tell you you should you, you need to count on, on needing pharmaceuticals. Dr. Oz is telling you, you need to follow this medication. But to stay on the winning side, we must never, ever yield to the facts or the contradiction, but rather, like our father Abraham, consider not the opposing view. We must boldly call things that be not as though they were. I know what the doctor said, but I call my body healed and well. Heart, I call you well. Eyes, I call you well. Stomach, feet, I call you well. So don't misinterpret what I'm saying here for a moment now. I'm not saying if you're on medication, you need to stop. But I'm telling you, what you could need to be considering is what God says. You understand? You know, you may think I believe in healing, but are you really siding with the covenant? As long as you believe God is going to do something, you're really just pushing it off to the future because God's already healed you. You understand? He's already done it. If you're praying for healing while believing you have the, uh, uh, to convince God to do it, you got to beg him to do it, it won't work for you. God, honest, God only honors faith. That is the fact that your healing is already bought and paid for. And you know, people often expect prayer to heal them. Prayer isn't a healer in itself. You pray the prayer of faith, and faith is what raises people up to receive from God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. That's why you got to surround yourself with more of the word. The more you surround yourself with the word, I'm telling you, it will change your life. That's why we're on on Tuesday, because we need more word because we have too many distractions telling us to look at the facts and not the covenant. 
And the covenant is the most important thing you have. Remember what I read to you, Psalms 89, 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is going out of my lips. He will not change. You got to stay on the covenant side. Abraham didn't consider natural things in his own situation. And we can't consider those natural things and make them the truth. They are facts. They're a contradiction to what God says. We're led by the spirit, not by the flesh. You understand? Abraham sided with the covenant and he received what God had promised. You'll receive what God has promised if you line yourself up with the covenant, not the facts. That's the contradiction. You got facts and you got the covenant. You got the doctors, you got the covenant. You have to line yourself up with the covenant. It's the most powerful thing you have is the covenant of God. So, I'm, I'm, you know, to, so today, so today, you know, you understand, um, you, you need to take, you need to, you need to take a look at, look at what God is saying. You need to take a look at everything he's made a promise to. You understand? You need to put, you need to, uh, excuse me a moment. I'm looking at my notes. You understand? And I, I want you to, I, I, I want you to take a, a, a good look at it. Look at what God says. I want you to pull out Psalms 89, 34. Glory be to God. I want you to take a good look at it, that he will not alter his covenant in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. This covenant we have will not fail. This covenant we have, you understand, will not be altered. Glory be to God. And you need to pull it up inside of your heart today. Glory be to God. So let's so if you haven't received our prayers and our confession, we're going on a 30-day, and there's a lot of churches doing this. We're going on a 30-day standing against the enemy, decreeing, calling those things to be not as though they were decreeing and declaring in the name of Jesus that this 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 uh, COVID-19 virus, coronavirus has to go. And if you're interested in getting some of the of the uh, of our confessions and prayers, all you have to do is go on our web page, WCCW.org. And there's on the last page, it says, send a message. All you got to do is send us a message. Say, I'd like to have these confessions. See, if we don't stand against this, no one will stand against this. Our job is not to lean on science. Our job is to lean on God. And he's given you the authority to, to understand, to stop things on this earth. He can't move unless we make that decision. And it's important for us to make that decision today. So today, according to Matthew 18, and uh, verse 18 to 20, it's the foundation of our prayer and agreement. It says, verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Glory be to God powerful. So let's agree to read together right now. If you have it in front of you, let's agree. If you're listening to me right now, let's agree. Because if, if we touch and agree, I don't care how many of you are on right now. If we touch and agree, it's going to make a difference in your life. It's going to make a difference in my life. And it's going to have an effect on this earth. So we're, we're going to have a prayer agreement over this virus. So why don't you repeat this with me? Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand in agreement together according to the living word of God. Jesus said in John 16, 23, I assure you, most solemnly, I tell you that my father will grant you whatever you ask in his, in my name. He said in Mark eleven twenty four, 24, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident that it's granted to you and you will get it. Father, we just thank you that we have a covenant with you and we believe in that covenant and we know it shall be granted in the name of Jesus. Concerning our covenant of health and welfare, we stand on Psalms 103, one through five. 
That's all you got to say concerning our covenant of health and welfare. We stand on Psalms 103 to 105. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all our iniquities, who heals all our diseases, who redeems our lives from destruction, who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy our mouths with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Glory be to God. Why don't you re repeat this with me? I am healed and made whole in the name of Jesus. My family walks in perfect health. We lift up all who have been affected by this virus and believe for their deliverance right now. Let's repeat that again. We lift up all those who have been affected by this virus and believe for their deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our good health. Thank you, Lord, for their healing now. We decree this as, as kings and priests and as ambassadors for Christ. Glory be to God. Now, concerning our covenant of protection from disease, we're going to stand on Psalms 91 and 10. Notice what it says. There shall no evil be for us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. Glory be to God. So why don't you repeat this with me? We are protected from the effects of COVID-19 or coronavirus. We take our authority in Christ over the disease right now. It will not touch us or, or any of our families. God has highly exalted Jesus and has given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of names in heaven, names of the earth, and names under the earth. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And, and so repeat this with me. Coronavirus, COVID-19, you are a name. Bow your knee to the name, which is above every name, the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our protection from this disease. Thank you, Lord, my city is protected from this disease. Thank you, Lord, my community is protected from this disease. Thank you, Lord, United States is protected from this disease. There is no name higher than Jesus' name. You must bow now in the name of Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Now, concerning our covenant of provision, we're going to stand on Philippians 4.19. It says, but our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So why don't you repeat this with me? We believe together that God is the source of everything in our lives. Everything we need during this time. He is our provider. He is our supplier. We will not fall short financially or in any other way. Thank you, Lord, for supplying everything we need, everything my family needs. Thank you for supplying. We will have more than enough. Glory be to God. And we're going to stand from the covenant of fear. Remember, if you were with me on Sunday, I talked about that our, 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 this is not an attack of a virus. It's a spirit of fear that's trying to overtake us. And of course, according to 2 Timothy 1.7, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. So why don't you repeat this with me? We refuse to fear. We refuse to panic. We refuse to worry. We refuse to be anxious. We cast all the care and the anxiety of all of this that's going on right now over unto you, Lord. 
because you care for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our freedom from fear. There is no fear here. There is no fear in my life. I have a God who takes care of me. Glory be to God. And you know, we have to pray for our government and the world governance as we stand on 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 to 3. Now, and I'll read the scripture. It says, first of all, we offer supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. So why don't you be in agreement with us right now? Let's, let's do it together. Why don't you repeat after me? We pray for the president of the United States, for world leaders, and all who walk in authority, to walk in the highest degree of God's wisdom. We pray for medical professionals, public health officials, first responders, and all involved. If any of them don't know you, Lord, send laborers out to them. Let them know there is a God. Bless them, Lord. Bless their families, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory be to God. And I believe this is just opening up a worldwide review. I mean, move of God. Glory be to God. Because, you know what I'm saying, I believe this is the time when the world is going through that God's going to show up like we've never seen before. And so I want you to repeat this with me. Because it is the will of God that all men be saved. And because the spiritual door has been opened, we ask for a move of God across the entire world. We call a revival in our city, in our state, in this country, now in Jesus' name. We pray for an awakening in every nation to our mighty savior and our compassionate healer. Jesus is our healer. As a result, may all men, all women know and declare Jesus is Lord. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, say that with me, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah, say that with me, Jesus is Lord. Come on, say it out loud, Jesus is Lord. So let's declare this together. Remember, on Sunday I shared with you, we have the power to decree. We have the power to declare. Now this may be a little strange to you, but you, this is what we need to do. We are the believers. We have authority to change this earth. You understand? So don't get religious on me. I'm waiting on God. God is waiting on you. He's delegated this authority to you. You have the right to decree a thing and call those things which be not as though they were. Glory be to God. And that's what we're doing here. And that's why you need to get on more. Because we're not going to accept the facts of what the world is saying. Because we have the power through Jesus Christ. So I want you to close out. Let's declare together. Let's just repeat after me. We have victory over this virus in the name of Jesus. Satan, we bind you and your forces and render you helpless. We loose our angels to go forth and minister on our behalf. We are healed. We are protected. We are prosperous and free from fear. No sickness, no disease, no frustrations, no disappointments shall harm your people. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. And this corona, coronavirus must leave now in the name of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. Glory be to God, hallelujah.
Glory be to God. Boy, I hope you got something out of this. We started out with this, with, with, with Psalms 89, 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that's gone out of my lips. We have a covenant with God. We're speaking what he's saying. It has to come to pass. You need to believe this. You need to take time and meditate on this. We have the power to change the course of this disease. We have the power to change the course of any disease. Glory be to God. If we decree a thing, it shall come to pass. If we decree a thing, it shall come to pass. I didn't say it. The word said it. And Numbers 23 says, God is not like a man who lies. If I said it, that settles it. And you need to be encouraged. This is your time. You were picked by God, hallelujah, to be here in 2020. And he's giving you some ammunition. Woo, that word of God. And maybe for a moment, you, you've been reading the, you, have, you think you're in this word. Let's get deeper in this word. Let's spend more time with it. It's better spending time while you're at home in the word than spending time just fully understanding the virus. We need to understand who we are. We're ambassadors for Christ. Revelations 1 says we're king and priests. We have, as a king, we have a right to, Revelation 1 verse 6, he says, he has made us kings. He is the king of kings. We are a king. We are an ambassador. We represent Jesus on this earth. The more you start believing this, the more you're going to have a better effect over your family, a better effect over your loved ones, better effect over your community. Glory, and you're going to be able to be used by God. Glory be to God. There's no retirement here. It's standing on the word of God. We stand on his word. So praise God. I want you to get, get a hold of this every Tuesday, 1230 to 1. If you don't have a copy of the prayers, we're asking you starting starting tomorrow. We started today that you just, we, we have we have a couple prayers. We ask you to pray just once a day. It's not as long as what we went through. And just speak it boldly till it gets into your heart. Pretty soon you won't need the paper for the next 30 days. We're going to call those things to be not as though they were. But though they were, we're going to call them the way Abraham called them. He did not look at the facts. We know what the facts are. The facts, the virus is real, but it's not the truth. And Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. You understand? He is the truth. The word world was made by the truth. It was made by the word of God. So as we get a hold of this, whoo, glory, your life will never be the same. Glory be to God. If you want copies of the of what we're doing, copies of the confession, and you want to be in agreement with it, listen to me. It's not only our churches. Churches are getting, they're getting fired up. We're, we're not tolerating this no more. And there's a body of believers that are rolling out and they're standing on what God says. And I pray you become one of them. Glory be to God. I pray that you stand on his word. So you just look at our webpage, WCCCW. Dot org, W-C-C-C-W dot org, and send us a message. Say, I want a copy of these. Yes, I'll be on. We love you. We thank God for you. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made, and he's blessed to be in it. Glory be to God. What we just did today has shook the spiritual arena. Glory be to God. It ain't about a feeling. We ain't got to feel it. We just got to do his word. This ain't about senses. You ain't got to feel the prayer. You got to know the prayer works. And since we did everything according to the word of God, let me tell you, heaven is already open. Glory be to God. He says what we don't want on earth, and if it don't belong in heaven, it don't have to be a belong in our life. And let me tell you, we don't want no sickness. We don't want no disease because there's no sickness in heaven and there's no disease in heaven. So guess what? It doesn't have a right to be in my life. It doesn't have a right to be in my life. I heard somebody said once, you're going to die of something. And, and, you know, I used to say, that, well, you're going to have to die of something. But I'm learning through God, <laughs> learning through God, I ain't got to die of no sickness. I ain't got to die of no disease. I ain't got to die of any of the, of the evil that's on this earth. And when I'm ready to go, I can go. Glory be to God. And I want to go healed and whole. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the name of Jesus. Now you say, Pastor, that's crazy. But see, I'm not looking at the facts. I'm looking at the covenant. <laughs> and if you keep hanging around the covenant, you'll start ignoring the facts. And you'll start believing the covenant and your faith will rise. And when your faith rise, let me tell you, things change in your life. We love you. We thank God for you. Hey, give us give us a call. You can join us for Bible study to, on Thursday night. Um, we're teaching on the covenant, 7, uh, 7 o'clock to 815. Glory be to God. If you want more information, uh, just send it to us. We'd love to have you. We have prayer tomorrow morning. Look at our website. It tells you how to get on 6 to 615. Glory be to God. You'll have a great time. They, I tell you, that prayer is powerful. And if not, if 
you know, be, be with us Sunday morning at 10. I'm telling you, we're going to go to a higher plane. We love you. Thank God for you. Remember, Jesus Christ is absolutely Lord of your life. Be blessed.